We're here with Michael Pena and Natalie Martinez to talk about End of Watch. How are you guys doing? Awesome. So tell me, what about this movie made you go, I need to be in this movie? When I read the script, I was like, I, it was really amazing because it's like a, it's an interesting narrative. I mean, it does. I think it does follow a three-act structure, but um, the, the dialogue was so good. Um, I, I just wanted to be a part of it, and it was so challenging. I'm like, I, I, I don't think I've ever done anything with this much dialogue. And uh, it seemed like a like a tough, tough movie, and I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off, and uh, you know, I don't know, hopefully I did. I'm a huge did. fan of David Ayer as well, and of Michael Pena, and everybody was in it, so I was really excited to kind of go out for it. And and like you said, the, David Ayer is just a genius. He's really, really well, and he's really good at what he does. You know, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Well, how do you prepare for a movie like this? Like, to be the wife of a cop, how do you prepare for that? Well, I mean, you basically, we just we just build a relationship, you know? Uh, that's kind of how we make that relationship look all that real. We spend time together and, you and on put dates? our- Yeah, we, we, we went on dates. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, pretty much, like we go out and hang out and just kind of get to know each other and, and talk about things. And we talked about the movie every time, you know, and which way we see what and what we think our relationship's like. And, you know, we had, we, there was a lot more scenes too that we were in that didn't actually make the movie. You know, so those are things that we kind of go over and, and I mean, it's just when you, when you take time aside off screen to, to make a relationship, when you're on screen, it just makes it all that much easier. Yeah. I mean, but it's a, there is a difference of like, you know, playing somebody who's like been married, you know, since in you know, high school sweet, sweethearts. My best friend's like that, you know, and he, you know, the, the way they are, they're like completely comfortable together. Yeah, like best friends. Yeah. And then you see somebody who's like, I mean, I think that's hard, harder to play. Then when you just meet somebody and you're like, you got, you know, you're trying to make it sizzle and stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, being like super comfortable or like, not that she ever farted in front of me, but like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, but she could have. I could have. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she would. <laughs> no, no, you know, who knows? Well, you really put the time into, he, I mean, him and Jake even spent more time in training yeah. and police and stuff. Tell me about that. Well, we had to um, we had to go on a bunch of ride-alongs, mm -hmm. and uh, those were really interesting. They were always eye-opening, you know. Like it, you're always seeing something new, and um, and it's funny. It's like sometimes the people that you thought is like, oh, this guy's clean. He's got nothing. Oh, he's got a gun in the back. You know, like it's it, it was always something different. And then you know the guy's mouthing off, doing you know just used to this thing, and it's like, well, he can mouth off because he he doesn't have anything on him. And then he find I was like, uh, you know, I totally had it wrong a couple times. And then I had to do a lot of weapons training, you know, where you actually like get to be really proficient with a gun and, uh, and just shooting, 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 shooting. And I'm like, and talking while you're shooting, it's, it's unbelievable how hard it is to talk while you shoot. Cause you're, you're in, you know, intended on the target and then you try to talk and then you actually point the gun towards the person. So now you're like really good with a gun. I probably forgot everything, but like it, it got to be pretty cool. But then we also were sparring three times a week. Like literally like, you know, put the headgear on. And when you get punched in the face, even if you're like a calm, calm dude, there's something about it. You're like, oh man, I just got punched in the face. I'm like, oh, he did it again. And then you try to go in for the kill, you know? And I'm like, and uh, it's all like in preparation to, and it was like a, an interesting mindset that I was for this movie that I don't think I've had it before for any other movie. So tell me, what was your favorite part of the movie? When you saw it, you were like, that's the best scene. Well, I don't know about the best scene. I, mean, I definitely like our part, you know, like it, uh, it's, it's, you know, playing like a young married couple, but like it looked really real. And then I like the relationships the most. I'm like, he, like it comes off like, you know, we're like brothers, you know what I mean? Always bickering at each other and like, but you know, definitely have each other's backs. And then the relationships with the other cops, you know, like with America Ferrara, like, you know, we're just we're just an annoyance to each other, you know, which I thought was really cool. And I like the six teams part where you're like, you're talking about all the six teams you go to, and then at the end, Jake's like, oh, you want to go to? Oh, when Jake was talking about the six teams, and then you were like, oh, you want to go to my cousin's six teams? Oh, Quinceanera. <laughs> like, like, like Quinceanera. Quinceanera. Oh yeah, yeah. That was a lot. <laughs> Their of, relationship was my my favorite. Yeah, I mean, we because we were we had it's so weird. We had four months of uh, rehearsal and then one month of shooting, which is usually the opposite, you know, mm -hmm. usually one month, not even one month of rehearsal and then four months of shooting. And so we, you know, <laughs> David Ayer's like, stop fighting, become best friends. That's, you know, a lot of times he's like, that's what he said, you're brothers. I was like, 
The scenes in the car, was any of that improvised, the dialogue between you two? I think one of them was. I mean, but the, for the most part, I will always try to find little things while I'm, you know, just to make it exciting and not make it, like, monotone. Mm -hmm. Pretty much everything was written, you know, like how, how, how it was. I'm like, I'm going to say, like, 98% of it was written. It's hilarious. I, I, well, that's how the cops were. When we went on ride-alongs, that was what... Did really... not expect the movie to be funny. Mm -hmm. like, you don't oh, yeah. think you're going to laugh during a movie like this. That was my first reaction, too. I didn't, I mean, you read the script and you see the stuff, but they did such a great job of interpreting it. It's hysterical. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Don't miss End of Watch, September 21st. I am Police Officer 2, Brian Taylor. This is my partner, Officer Zavala. I'm in my chonies. I know, dude. Come on, come on. I'm in my chonies. No, 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 no. Come on, man. We were basic patrol here at Newton, one of the toughest divisions in the LAPD. Take pride in what you do, you guys. Yes, sir. <laughs> I got him. Try to run. Try to run. Pit him, man. Pit him. Pit him. Boom! You know, I see you guys out here being good little company, man. It's all fun and games. You get to run and jump and fight and shoot. I'm down with that. Watch your six. Everybody here is family. You know I love you, man. I would lay down my life for you, dude. Hey, partner. What's up? I want to have a daughter, man. That'd be so cool. Just don't let her date cops. She's not dating anyone. OK. Ever. <laughs> 105 North Avenue, 52. Third Sanctuary 13, Roger. What are we looking for again? Dope money and guns. Hablas ingles o español? Good! You good, partner? I'm good. What? You got more bling than the old lady's wedding ring. That guy is into something. You're not a detective. Follow me into the house. Policia! Oh, my God. Be careful. You just tugged on the tail of the snake. It's going to turn around and bite you back. You think I know we're rolling up on? Every day I feel the heat in the city. Like the Put your hands over your head. Get up. The cartels are operating here. They operate by a different set of rules. So why do they call you Big Evil? Because my evil's big. You're my brother. If anything happened to you, I would take care of your kids. Word is, we got a hit on y'all, man. Y'all been ringling. We're cops. Everybody wants to kill us. Whoa, 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 whoa. 13 X-ray 13, suspect running on foot. Look at me. We're shooting our way out of here, bro. Okay. On three, dude. You're gonna empty your mag and run. One, 